I made a substantial commitment to our Catholic campaign. There are so many ways that the fellowship has enriched my spiritual life and my family's. I had wonderful opportunities to share very special times with our first and second graders who are so incredibly visited. <coughs> and that's been a real, real joy for many years. My teenage girls now speak owls fluently, and I can take it with them. Just the other day, I was able to broach what might have been a very sensitive topic by mentioning the owl and banana game. And I'm happy to talk with you about that during coffee hour anytime. <laughs> the fellowship has really expanded my children's perspective on the world as well as my own. One of the most important spiritual experiences for me happened here when I took Lorraine's, excuse me, Elaine's wonderful meditation class. So all of these benefits are extremely important to me, and I want to give to the congregation so that those experiences can be shared with others. But the Catholic campaign is also rooted, my contribution is also rooted in the values that my mother passed on to me. It's a happy coincidence today that our youth are talking about connectedness. <coughs> Lately, I've been thinking about our connectedness across time and generations. What I've been given by <coughs> the previous generation and what I'll give to the next. At the age of 86, my mother is still very healthy, although mentally not able to take part in the exhilarating debates that we used to have. Her changing capabilities have made me very aware of the gifts she's given me that she can no longer share in the same way. Mom is a devout Catholic, attends Mass weekly, and in the prime of her retirement was going to Mass two and three times a week with my father. I was raised in the Catholic Church, but from a pretty early age, I felt no connection to the Church. And I'm sure there are many of you here today that share that same experience. <laughs> but I've learned over the years that my mom did so much more than give me a religious creed to try out. During my teens and 20s, my mom and I have had, did have serious discussions on such topics as abortion and issues in the Catholic Church. Our views are very different, but she always made space for our dialogue. She respected my views, even when feeling very strongly about her own. She saw that my perspective really grew from the basic values that she raised me with, and those values were much more fundamental, I would argue, than any church dogma. <laughs> the highest praise that my mom that I could give someone was to say that they were a good person. I can still hear those words. Person's a good person. I never heard her describe anyone as a good Catholic. A good person in her dictionary is a salt of the earth, no nonsense individual who is kind, responsible, contributes to the community, and can be counted on when the going gets tough. She modeled those qualities for her daughters in very quiet ways, caring for us helping out at our school, and doing volunteer tutoring. So what does all that have to do with a capital campaign? We've talked some about the fact that we, that we build what we build physically and spiritually here will be our legacy. I know that my donation is not just my own legacy, but my mother's as well. As you consider your pledge to the campaign, I invite you to think about your spiritual connections. Who in your spiritual journey do you share your legacy with? A parent, a spouse, a friend or mentor? And how do you honor them with your gift? Thank you.